So, hi, Junkie. Thank you for joining me on Fit Talk. I appreciate okay. it. Very much. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate you having me. <laughs> Yep, yep. How did you get, how did you start Hat Junkie? Like, what made you come up with Hat Junkie? I don't know, man. It's just a, uh, it's like anything else you're a junkie of. It's something you, something you buy, you, your money goes to, you know? Yeah. Just, I don't know. So, around what age did you become a junkie of collecting hats? Mm, I mean, I was young, man. My dad had me. I, didn't, I mean, we didn't, we didn't have a lot, but. You know, he bought me one anytime he could, you know. So I've always been into, always been into hats. Uh, my big thing was uh, minor league hats. When I was young, I loved the logos. I still do, you know. And uh, just, uh, now but, do you collect a lot of minor leagues or do you collect uh, a, 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 a like a bunch of different type of hats? Minor I collect a bunch of different types. I mean, I still go after the minor league hats when I see them. That's right. Like some that I haven't got or didn't get or the new ones that come out. You know, I love those logos. I mean, I still, I collect MILB, of course, Tech Hats. Uh, fresh hat. The other day yeah. I see, um, I seen one of those hats you had on. I was like, I kept looking. I was like, what team is that? I was like, that this is hard. Yeah. I was like, I know I got to step up my game and get some of those hats. Yeah, this sucks, man, because like, I think I was telling you, we had a hat club here in, in my in my city so yeah. they, would do, they would do these custom uh texas tech hats man and uh like we have stores that sell texas tech stuff but nothing i mean they got some clean hats but they don't do a lot of new era they do uh they're sponsored by under armor oh okay so the hats are under armor but uh hat club you know like this one right here this was a prototype double t they never used this t before this double t yeah so you know hat club went back with like these college hats like they do like those prototype teams and then i got some uh 1927 uh double t logos from the 20s that hat club redid but you know the tech stores here we have one called the matador and the red raider outfitter they don't i'm thinking about going and hitting them up you know what i'm saying doing some customs man because they would sell yeah so you're thinking about um doing your own custom hats yeah, I'd like to talk to somebody there to see if they would maybe do some custom tech hats, man, because it's just the same old, same old. You know what I mean? They have some new era hats, but it's nothing nothing like what Hat Club did. Hat Club, I mean, they had probably 10 different styles of custom tech hats here in, in our store here. You should talk to Ink Park, man. I'm yeah. pretty sure him could get it done. Yeah, maybe. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure with... Uh, what he has going and uh he seems to uh because i know he was in the the other day with you uh talking to him, and i'm like that that would be a pretty good uh idea to do that talk to yeah. him Tell yeah him. i like i don't know how you'd probably have to get you know the uh okay to do the logo and stuff like that i probably yeah. have to talk to i don't know who i would talk to but i could probably find out yeah just save those ideas man and hopefully the right person along and uh, you'll be able to do that. Yeah. I know for I, sure. I go to the Tech baseball games, man, and I'm the only one with these hats, even though Tech players are looking at me like, damn. One of them told me, that's a badass hat, dude. I See wish that? we wore those hats. Yeah. It, that's like um, uh, the total package when uh, he says he goes to games. It's like he goes, guys will go up to him and be like, oh, man, I don't have that hat. I need that hat. So that's yeah. dope, man, that you collect a lot of different hats and that these players <clears> – <throat> go up to you and be like where did you get that at? and like yeah. need that it's yeah. good i i know you you were telling me that you're into sports more than i mean you love baseball oh, so yeah. uh like for me it's like i really don't go to games but i need to start going i can uh just get more knowledge of baseball like i used to play baseball as little did you play baseball as a young kid oh yeah oh yeah did you play high school too played high school ball uh I was getting looked at by Florida State University, man, and I got hurt fucking playing football, just some backyard football bullshit, because I wasn't allowed to play football. The only thing I was allowed to do is baseball. My dad didn't let me play any other sport but baseball. Damn. Well, man, we would have been watching you on the big leaves right now. Man, hopefully Skeeter takes my spot. Yeah, but with that he got, it looks like maybe, hopefully he'll take it. Yeah, he does pretty good, man. That's good, boss. 
Hey, have, so have you ever been in any hat battles? No, bro. No. I, no? I sit back. I sit back and watch, man. You know, I mean, yeah. they're they're cool, but no, I never got it. One, one I was, I, I I was interested in getting in was the greens and grays. I think okay. I would have had a chance in that. Yeah. I mean, I got a lot of a lot of stuff, but like a lot of people, like I probably would pull out old school hat club hats that nobody ever saw before, and you know, they wouldn't be appreciated because those go back you know, seven, eight years maybe before all the hype, you know what I mean? I know. I remember you telling us uh, that you used to uh, know the guy in the Texas Hat Club and uh, oh, yeah. you gave him a bunch of hats and uh, he used yeah, to... Yeah, didn't fit me. <laughs> so how, how was that getting to know somebody from Hat Club to be able to go in there and getting uh, drops like be, not before some else, other people, but like just knowing ahead of time? No, it was cool, man. I mean, because, I mean, it, it, it was like that here. You know what I'm saying? It was, I don't think, like, because the hat club, you know, here, it was just like a normal. You know, we had a lids, a hat club, but everybody here knew hat club had the fire hats. You know what I'm saying? Like, they would drop they would drop hats. And, I mean, if you weren't there, they were sold out, you know. There was never really no lines, but, I mean, they they would sell out, you know. It wasn't no, it wasn't no big hype, like. We got a big drop come in or because they never really did like uh packs like they do now back then. You know, they would drop I guess I guess they uh, kinda did, I guess it was, was you know, they would put out a certain amount of hats, but it was like never like like here you go, we're about to drop this, you know, come to the store this day or this day. It was just there, you know. So homeboy would hit me up and be like, Hey man, we got uh this new shipment of minor league hats coming in and we got some uh, custom um major league hats coming in different colorways and i would go up there and pretty much not first dibs i mean i would probably be the first one there if i could real quick but, huh yeah and i would i would snatch up the ones i wanted you know so around how long would you say you've been collecting from hat club and like um pretty much from hat club and these new stores like uh how many years do you think it's hat club shit bro I'm trying to think when they opened here. I can't even remember. It was five years ago, bro. Uh, I know some uh, some guy was in uh, in this uh, group chat um, saying, "Man, they need to open one in Texas. They need to open one in Texas." I wanted to tell him, "I'm like, oh man, they closed that down a long time ago." Well, yeah. they they closed it down. It was uh, when COVID hit. Oh, uh, when they had they shut everything. Like it was open, and then I didn't even know because homeboy didn't even call me. It was open, and then whenever they opened everything back up here, like you know, a little bit of op uh, opened up a little bit. I went back, man, and it was it was closed down, and I was like, well, maybe they haven't closed yet. And then I went back a couple of days later, the sign was gone. And I was like, oh fuck, they're leaving. And then I hit up Ben, and he's like, yeah, we shut it down. And I had talked to him about if they were gonna do any more tech hats, you know, maybe online or something. And he said yeah. that they they weren't gonna be doing anymore. I was like, damn, bro. Man. That was that's, a sad. That was a sad day, bro. Cause that's where I got all my tech stuff, and I had a bunch of stuff that that was too big for me from Hat Club, like custom Hat Club. Nice, bro. I'll probably never be able to hunt those down again. But though, I mean, they were nice, bro. I, I was sad, bro, cause I wanted to rebuy those. I was hoping, you know, they'll they'll put them back out, cause they always restock the tech yeah. hats there, cause they would fly so fast. You know what I mean? You know, it's the uh, the college yeah. here, you know? Yeah. But, they, man, I, yeah, I was sad. I hit up Ben. I was like, man, can we get one more run of tech hats? And then all, I guess all the tech hats, because they were online, when they shut the store down, I had went to hatclub.com, and they had all the tech hats on their website. And of course, they sold out there, too. But it was, I was like, damn. And there was one on there. I bought an off-white one, because it had just dropped, I think, right before they had closed and uh, I I caught it online, so I got that one. But they didn't have any of the other ones. They were already all sold out. It's crazy how fast Hat Club sells out. Like, yeah. um, I know a bunch of other stores that are are open now, like, um, what is it? I Fit It, Sports World, all them. They they sell out pretty fast now. Yeah. Like, See, in, in those stores, man, they've been around. I think they said Sports World has been around maybe 20 years, bro. It's just that. Just now, you know, when the COVID shit hit is when they started their online presence, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, that's what I heard about my fitteds. I was like, I just heard my fitteds, and um, they've been open for like thirty years or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think so. Maybe uh, Hat Heaven. I know that was an old one. Oh, you know, so, but a lot of them they 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 transferred to on. Well, they stay out of their stores, but they started doing online. You know, to keep their shit running. That was. I fed everybody. I guess it was a curse and a blessing at the same time, the COVID. Yeah. You know? So how many duffels do you have? How many duffels do you own? Because uh, I, I know... Own, I think I, I own seven, but I need I need a lot more because I got a lot of hats and, and boxes. and. I, I found it funny the other day. Uh, you're like, oh, I just got seven on the wall right now. Oh, just seven. I'm like, oh, yeah. You know, yeah, I, I got some on the floor. I still need to hang up, and I need to buy some more because I got a I got a bunch of hats that are just sitting in, like in boxes. Like I got by, you know, they're they're protected and yeah, like uh, boxes. But yeah, I got a lot, and I still got a lot coming. So, um, like, were you able to get um? Uh, are you gonna be getting any sandstorms? Yeah, I'm gonna grab some, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some. Skeeter wanted a couple. My wife even saw a couple she liked, so that's right. Get the whole family yeah. on it. Yeah, cause I I bought her. She don't really. She's never been into like hats. She's never worn them. And the first one that caught her eye was that cookies and cream Red Sox. She loves the Red Sox. That's right. So, yeah. What's up, Ink Park? How you doing? What's up, Ink? buddy? How you guys doing? Thanks for joining the live. You guys don't the um, hat junk. Out of Texas. Um, so, do you have any favorite teams or uh, any favorite hat? Like any collections that are your favorite? Man, uh, ah, shit, I don't know, man. Like, uh, probably my favorite collection was I, I definitely like when they dropped the All Star hats, the All Star collection. Man, the see, Ices and Pinkies. I I don't even. Is that the one? Um, with with the uh, with the circle patches on the side? No, they're all different. Um, oh, okay. I got a pirate. The pirates one has a circle patch. Um, I got that one. I got the White Sox. Um, Montreal Expos. Yeah, I've seen that, get. that one's hard. That red icy. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that. One. Um, I know that one is. Um, I. I know that one's going to be hard to find for me. Like, there's a bunch of hats that, that I'm pretty sure if you pulled out a bunch of hats right now and showed me, I'm like, I'm looking for all those right now. Yeah. I was like, it's crazy. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's, there's, there's a couple I missed out on, man. Just like, I missed out on a lot of drops, you know, being at work because it, it yeah. drops like a busy time for me. You know, I can't, I can't get away. Sometimes, sometimes I do though. Uh, I'll, I'll sneak, I'll sneak away and, and order real quick. Oh yeah, I got my shit ready to go. I'm already on the website, signed into my account, and I have my phone <laughs> to the side doing what I gotta do. I have my alarm set; it hits. I grab the phone, boom, 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 get what I want. You know. That's so funny. Sometimes, sometimes uh, I can't get away. Yeah, man, it's hard to get away, especially when you're doing something or busy at work. And then, like, if you're not time being a minute late or a two minutes. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can't do that no more, bro. Back in the day, man, like, yeah, I've heard people talk about it. And, you know, I, I remember that shit, like, on hatclub.com. Man, you could you could fill up a cart, like, throughout the week. Like, add one, and they drop another, and I'll add that one, and I'll add this one, and this one. And then Friday, you start Monday, and then Friday, you got all those hats in your cart still. And then, boom, hit checkout, you get them all. Now, fuck, no, you got you got two seconds yeah, literally, like I find I find it hard to even put two hats in a in a um in art because uh, they run out so fast. It's like it's just sometimes it's horrible. But some guys are able to some guys are able to ca uh, catch a whole like five hats and yeah, I don't know how they do that, bro. Like I got I'm in my account signed in and just I don't know. Like the most the most I got at one time. And I guess they weren't really hyped up, but they still kind of sold out were those uh, hockey hats. Like, the first round, I did five. I tried to get every single one of them. <laughs> and I got I got screwed out of uh, Ink Park's the first one and Chamuco's the first one. But I got all the rest of them, and those two those two were gone, of course. But 
I, I should have got those two and they went back because I knew those two were going to fly. Yeah. I, I knew it, but I was like, man, maybe, you know, people ain't really on, you know, uh, design collective hats as much as they are like MLB. So I was like, maybe I got a chance. Well, I got five of them, so I guess it was good. But I got a lot more than they put some more on the side. And then round two, I think I got maybe 11 of them. I can't remember. I, I didn't count them, but I got, I, I tried to get them all, though. I wanted that whole collection. Were you able to get two parts on uh, uh, round two? Oh, yeah. The, yeah. the, was the Warrior, the Warbirds? Yeah, I got that one. Yep. Yeah, that one was hard. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I, I tried to order uh, both of those collections, and both times I got uh, sent to processing to pay, and then I got sent back into the checkout line, to the waiting line. I was like, Oh well, I just forget about it. Yeah. Uh, but what what uh what's kind of sucks about those hats is you'll never see those for sale. It's because the people who buy, them, it's like we're keeping those hats. Like they don't. Oh yeah. Yeah. They they won't part part ways with those. Hats. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah, that's true. A lot of the MLB teams being uh, parted ways with, but a lot of the designers hats. It's like uh, we can't get rid of those. Yeah, those are like collector's items to me. I, I would never, like a lot of my hats, I would never sell or anything. What's up, Halo? Halo Fairs in here. We need a papa so we can take out a papa and be like, I, oh, I need one. I need to get one. I think I got some at my mom's house. Oh, that's I'm gonna, right. I'm going to bring them. Yeah, some <laughs> old school ones when I was a kid. My mom kept, my mom keeps everything, bro. Everything. That's those are gonna be uh, worth some money uh, if they're still in good condition. Like, uh, like everything from back in the day is gonna be worth something. Oh yeah. Even now, everything, all these hats that we're buying, and uh, when we're when we're older, like twenty years from now, it's. I wonder how fast. I mean, I know already the hats are being like a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. But I mean, I only can imagine when we're older, like. 20 years from now, I imagine how yeah, how I mean, this is gonna skyrocket. Yeah, it depends. I mean, I know right now they're they're expensive because of the hype on them, but yeah, I mean, that hype. I mean, some hats will be probably sought after forever. You know? Yeah, exactly. Like, like me, if I could get my hands on some some of the Hat Club Tech hats that I don't have, or that I had, because I had them all, bro. I had every every time they dropped one, I, I bought it. Like it was automatic. But if uh, they ever came up, I would pay over retail for those tech hats, but that's probably it. I wouldn't pay. <clears throat> I'd never pay over retail for like a minor league or a major league hat or anything like that. Yeah, because they'll always be making those. But like, yeah. like there's people who are um, those. Uh, what are those things called in college when you join? Like, a, um, I forget what they're called. The, the, the guys that are really into school, those guys. Uh, collect a bunch of their a bunch of the college stuff and later on, like, like, that's like, they have grills and people are like, oh my God, I want that hat and it's just like oh yeah, it's good to save. And um, it, do you have a lot of hats that you still haven't worn, or you try to wear? All I mean, I, I try to wear all my hats, but I, I do have a lot that I haven't even got to yet. I, I have a ton of hats in there. Still are got you, the stickers. That's for like just are you do you just have hats to have or are you no you no I buy them I only buy hats I like bro I don't okay. like I mean I know some of the hats I got are were hyped up but you know I bought them because I liked them not because people talked about them or hey yeah. this is that like this the campfires everybody's going crazy on those I don't like those hats bro I didn't no. I didn't I didn't buy one I didn't buy one of them no. It's the color for me, bro. It's the Texas yeah. Longhorn shit. I, I can't fuck with it. Huh? I, I was wearing burnt orange. He likes Texas. I was like, so I was like, I just thought about it. I was like, I'll rep the state, but that's why I asked you when we started. I was like, what hat? What's that's good? I, yeah, I can't. Like, I can't rock that burnt orange, bro. It's against yeah. my religion. So, um, but you're originally from uh, what is it, Austin or Houston, Texas? Houston. Yeah. Okay, Houston, Texas. Yeah, I was there when I was a kid. Uh, I think I moved to Lubbock when I was five and then I went back and forth for a while till maybe I was 12 and okay. then I just ended up staying here but yeah my whole family still lives in Houston that's right so well what do you look for uh, when it comes to buying a hat 
like at uh when the drop what's something that you look for in them mm, certain teams and and now you know like with all the side patches coming out like uh a lot of those side patches, like I'll buy them because they mean something to me. I saw the game or I watched the All-Star game or I saw that World Series or one of my favorite players played in that. You know what I mean? That's that's how I go about it. But as far as like regular hats, yeah, it's just, I mean, if it's a, if I like the colors, and you know, I, I'll buy any team except the Yankees. You know, I, I don't buy Yankees hats. So I don't, I don't. <laughs> There's only one Yankee hat in your house right now at this moment, right? Yeah, that's Skeeter's. Yeah. And, and he asks, every time he wants to wear it, he asks permission. Can I wear this hat? <laughs> like, man, wear whatever you want, man. That's right. My wife gets mad at him because she hates the Yankees with the passion. Wait, it's the Boston huh? Yeah, that's true. I hear that a lot. If you like the Boston, you Yeah. I mean, but, you know, I, I watch a Yankees game. I, I, I love watching. Uh, me, I, I mainly follow players, bro. Like, it ain't really teams. That's why, you know, I collect, I just love the game of baseball, period. So, you know, I like watching, you know, the so, certain players from the Yankees. So I can sit and watch a whole Yankees game just to watch those players play ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like um, I was uh, I was watching a few games the other day. And uh, and uh, then I started watching some high. The pitchers now, um, I forget what pitcher this is, but he was literally throwing the ball and just kind of like lobbing it. And that was, that was uh, they call him Tortuga. Yeah, I, um, dude, I, I didn't. I just I. <laughs> it was just so funny to me to watch him lob the ball. Yeah, he's got at it and just. Just straight missing. I'm like, yeah. oh, they're, they're probably walking back to the to the um, dugout. Like, what was going on? Yeah, they're used to seeing 90 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour balls. That that slow pitch comes in, throw your timing off, man. Yeah, it's horrible. Uh, so how how long have you been out uh, in the hat community with everybody on Instagram? Like, how long have you been interacting? <clears throat> the hat community, I think. Maybe a little bit over a year, man. Like, to be honest with you, I, I never knew it, it really existed. I, I don't remember who I saw. I think well, maybe I think one of the first persons, that, first people I saw uh, on, on my other Instagram, because I used to have a gaming Instagram. I used to do a lot of gaming. I used to play a lot of GTA and shit like that. Yeah. And uh, there was a lot of drama in that shit. Like, it was crazy, crazy drama in, game, in the gaming community, bro. So... I was like, man, I got to get away from this. And I think I seen Poppy Caps a lot. Uh, he collects the New York Mets stuff. Okay. He's a big Mets collector. I saw him. I started following him. Then it started giving me suggestions. And I started seeing everybody. I was like, damn, this is actually a thing. You know what I'm saying? So I, I created the the Hat Junkie page and and started. Uh, I just started following everybody and, and talking to people and chopping it up. You know, I was always quiet. You know, I, I don't ever really... I recently started doing lives like with you guys and shit like yeah. that. Like I was always, I just like to sit back and watch everybody, you know. That that's dope because um, I I hear your name a lot. Oh, hat junkie, hat junkie, hat, like and it's always good things. I'm, I was like, who who the hell? Is that? Like yeah. so, when I when I started following you, I was like, oh, this is hat junkie. I was like, that's dope. They they all hear that. Oh, he's 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 like an old in the hat. I was like, all right, I, like I need to follow. Like I'm trying to follow everybody and be, like chop it up with everybody. To be honest, yeah, because it's like the everybody has their own style, and yeah. like if I'm able to see someone's style, I'm like able to see what other ads are available or were back in the day. Like, yeah. you know, and it's just it makes it a lot easier. Before hack, I was just copying lids, and now. Yeah. Now Hat Club, it's like I only buy from Hat Club because it's like there's just too many stores, too many drops, and it's it for me. It's just kind of it's hectic enough trying to get one hat from Hat Club. I don't oh, yeah. imagine like how how do you feel about that? Trying to cop Hat Club, trying to cop from here, trying to cop. From there. I mean, it's it's crazy now. I mean, you can go on some sites, and I mean, like me, man. I I guess I shop different, man. Like people's gins or people think hats are fire and you know they are fire but like i'll see one and i'll be like man that's badass but it, ain't nobody rocking that hat and then i 
then, you know, I'll take a picture with it. They're like, man, that fucking hat's fire. I was like, bro, it's sitting on Sports World's website or sitting on Hat Heaven's website. You know what I mean? You can go get it right now. It ain't no sold out, no nothing. It's sitting there. You know, people, it's just a big hype thing, and I get it. You know, to me, Hat Club's the best. To me, Hat Club's been the best forever, you know, because, you know, yeah. I had first hand, it was here. But there's other, there's other places that put out fire hats, bro. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's like, I, I think people, people shy away from those other places because they think people are going to make fun of them. Like, oh, that ain't no hat club hat. That ain't shit. You know, I don't think like that, bro. A fire yeah. hat is a fire hat. I mean, yeah, exactly. Just, like, it is what it is, bro. I, I've been doing it so long, bro. Like, I can't, I don't know. It's just, I like, I like hats, bro. I don't like. Yeah. It ain't the companies, it's it's the hat. I don't work for the company. Even probably even if I did work for the company, I'd still buy hats from where I like if they drop something different, you know? Yeah, you got to do it. So. Yeah, because a lot of people are worried about hat club right now. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing, bro, is people are scared to uh show a hat from a uh, hat club or or I mean not hat club, uh, scared to show a hat from sports world or exclusive fitted or somewhere because they think uh this is, i can't show this hat but you know they probably they probably buy it but they don't show it online or so i don't know maybe I, i'm just i'm just saying that's how i feel people are but i mean if you like the hat man rock the hat don't let anybody like persuade you oh you gotta you gotta only buy this or that colorway's whack don't buy that colorway even though you like that if you like that colorway buy that colorway you yeah know what I'm like I just uh, ventured out and I got some hats from uh, the the locker room and down. Yeah, they got some fire hats. I wanted that fucking Detroit hat, bro. That it has it has like an ivory D. Yeah, like blue man. I wanted that hat so bad. And they dropped it, I think, a month ago. Oh. And I have a homeboy in Cali, man. I sent him over there, and they were they were sold out of my size, bro. Yeah, a lot of stores are starting. Like the uh, like uh, we were saying earlier. A lot of stores are selling out real fast. That they're yeah. they're all starting to become like Hat Club, and it's like, uh, I think it's gonna all come down to in the end. When like, I don't know if the hype for Hat Club will ever end, but it's all gonna. For me, it's really cool, like in the hats, and and I'm not saying Hat Club doesn't have quality because they do. It's just some hats I wish they really made all the. Nice. Yeah. I don't know that problem where some are bigger some are smaller yeah and that has to do with uh because they're all handmade bro you know what i'm saying yeah. that, has, that has to do with, that don't have nothing to do with the companies or yeah. you know if some stitching is off man it, it, it don't have nothing to do it's it's new era you know what i mean so yeah it is what it is like they all come from the same place man that's what you know yeah. and you know i respect that you know hat club did you know they did the pinks and the ices you know that wasn't really a thing before they started doing it but like the greens grays the red bottom shit i have a lids la hat somewhere it's it's, in, it's a size eight when i used to wear eights but i got that probably 10 12 years ago it's a, a black it looked like the uh, louis v's it's it was black and red oh exactly. man yeah i saw some hats today that were they looked exactly like louis v's and i'm Man, I kind of want to buy it, but I was like, I don't know what it is. I like, I really want the new EV from. Be like me. I I like to venture out, but for some reason, Hat Club just calls yeah. my name. reason. No, they have fire hats, bro. Like I'll never, ever, ever stop buying from Hat Club. But yeah, there there's a there's a lot of places that have some nice hats, man. One of my favorite sites to go on is at milb dot com, bro. Yeah, they got like ninety pages, bro. I'm talking about ninety pages that to go. You you get lost in that website looking at hats, bro. Those minor league hats, you will get lost in that shit. So, how, how many hours a week would you say you you're on uh, the internet looking up hats? Uh, I do it on my downtime, bro, because I'm real busy with Skeeter. My daughter wrestles. She does travel wrestling. Skeeter does travel ball, and I work. So I just. Whenever I get a chance, man, when I, you know, I lay down to get ready to, you know, lay it down, go to bed, I'll just, I'll hop on, uh, I'll hop on the internet and look at those sites, man, like, yeah. check them out. Yeah, but you'll get lost in that minor league, bro. There's so many, so many hats, bro. I was talking about minor league makes me go try to buy some hats from them. Like, I, I can't get over those Texas Tech hats, bro. 
like yeah. the, those are just the the way the tea is it's just like this tea it's like like it's a side tea like yeah two tea, but like the the tea and the tea on the bottom it's like that's just dope see yeah, that one that one that one you're talking about that other one that one's uh 1927 uh tech that was way back. This is the this is the double T they use now. Oh, the T's in the front. Yeah, that's that's the double T right there. Wow, that's dope. And this one right here, this was a prototype double so T. It, this was never used. Never released, or I mean, in the in the league, but released on. Hack. Yeah, it was a uh, yeah Hack Club did it. It was like uh, they called it. Uh, it was part of the vault. The vault. They, 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 it was a, I think, I don't know if they collabed with them, but it's called, uh, what is it? What is that? What is that deal called? It's called college, uh, the college vault or something like that. They have a lot of like old school throwback shit, like, like this shit, like prototype type logos that were never used. I think it's called college vault. You can go to collegevault.com, but they don't sell these hats. Like yeah. I went on, I went on there to look. I was like, "Well, hell, it had the and, and they have their own little sticker. It's a brown sticker. It says College Vaults on there." And I went to their website, and they had some uh, old throwback like Texas Tech shirts, but they didn't have no hats. Did you end, ever end up getting the jersey you wanted the other day? I mean, the I believe it was a Texas jersey, a, a Texas Tech jersey. No, nah, man. Uh, I'm trying to get one that has uh, the ones they wear with the stitching and shit. The ones oh. they have here, it's like, uh, what do you call that shit? Like, like those basketball jerseys that are just like pressed on the mesh. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's the, uh, they press right. Yeah, I want an authentic one. The stitching. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those like the, what they wear on the field. That's what I want. Yeah, those, those are dope. Uh, I would say they're a little bit heavier, but those are dope. Um, yeah, yeah. So when are we gonna see some hat pins? That's what I want to know, because like, I, know, I know you're telling us the day a lot of people have been asking. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking, man. I've been thinking about it, man. I'm, I'm still kind of. Ink Park shot me a couple ideas. He shot me an idea. It's badass. I don't know if the people are ready <laughs> you and Ink Park to collab or for. Ah, yeah. uh, I was yeah. looking at the page earlier, um, and I just. It's it's dope how these guys their imagination is oh yeah like it's just yeah, true artists bro yeah definitely and then when he was telling I think he was in the, uh, when he was talking to you uh, in the live the other day he was telling us how he did all the, the skateboard uh, like the oh, yeah. band B element and all that I was like man uh, when you drop a pin bro I and he if he does it it's gonna be over like. Like for a fact, I know it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Uh, so I have one real question for you: Who would win in a battle, you or Skeeter? Who would win a hat battle? Yeah, you or Skeeter. <laughs> I don't know. I think he had cake for him. He has some nice hats. I, I I might get him. I guess it depends what we pulled out. We we, we gotta see that battle. I, I want to see it go live one day. You will yeah. get. Either, man. We'll that'd, have to do that. that'd be dope. He'll be he'll be excited for sure. I know a lot of people. Will yeah, be he's able. down. He's down. He's he's real competitive, so he'll <laughs> he'll definitely be down. That's right. Um, is he trying to steal any of your hats? Is he ever yeah. going and try to be like, Dad, let me wear this hat? Yeah, he he he'll like. I know I'll get a hat in. And uh, like I, I told y'all the other day, I get them delivered to my mom's house because I don't like them to get here because they just throw them on my porch. And then they and don't even can... Yeah, they just leave them there, bro. I tell you, I came home from work one day about 10 o'clock at night, and I knew the package had came, and I thought it was at my mom's, so I called my mom. I was like, did you get a package? She's like, no, I didn't get one. I said, well, it says delivered. And then I got here, and I accidentally had it shipped here, and it was just sitting right there, bro, like right on the front. Like, and I live in apartments, so, like people walk by, you could they could have just grabbed it and kept walking. And I was like, what the fuck? So I, I, ne I always make sure, like, my shit's set to my mom's house now. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, uh, I feel bad for people who have, because, I mean, it's like, I don't know what Hat Club would do for anybody if 
if I, if it says delivered and you call them up and said oh it was stolen like, like I think they have I think they have a some kind of like it's insured I think they insure their packages Cause I know a couple of people got their shit jacked and I I think they they took care of them gave them a refund or, if anything or yeah, that'll be definitely. eBay has an Under Armour takes a tech fully embroidered. I'm gonna have to look at that then. Yeah, Oscar uh Caleb's Cavs, he's um he's uh very um like uh how would I say he's uh, he has a lot of knowledge to this hat game, hat community. Like um he's always with um Fitted Insider. Oh I yeah. Fitted, uh, with the total pack and I think the Fitted Insider too, he'll he'll talk about live and uh he'll talk about jerseys about hats like, that's what i like guys like like are that are very like uh, knowledgeable uh because i mean other, otherwise it's like just buying hats you know yeah you have any knowledge to the hats it's like what's the point kind of like i think it's like i didn't realize that like do you care if it's a loser pad like no nah, no nah, i i don't get ready to get into that i mean it, i think people that get into that are it's their team. Yeah. It's their favorite team that played in that World Series and they lost. So it's a loser patch to them. Like me, I don't really affiliate myself with any team. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I told you, I just love the game. So, no, nah, those don't matter to me at all. All right. Uh, which, would you ever collaborate a pin with somebody? And if you would, who would you want to collaborate with? Like somebody uh, in the community or just uh, – like not so much a designer, but like maybe like uh, another person in that hat game. Uh, me and uh, uh, LA fitted junkie, we're talking about doing a junkie pin. Dude, that'd be dope. Uh, LA cap junkie, I yeah. cap junkie. Yeah. Yeah, that that'll be uh, something different. I I, I, yeah. that pin. I, I only can imagine it, like a little junkie, uh, rocking a hat or something like that. Just yeah. Will work for hats or something like that. Yeah, hell yeah. That, yeah, we talked. We, we talked about it. We, I mean, we haven't sat down and done anything or talked about, it, but we talked about it. He said he was down, so it might happen. That that'll be that'll be uh something different, like uh, cause uh, like I was getting in now. I was like, uh, there's a lot of pins that are dropping that are pretty dope. Like, uh, like yeah. people are just dropping heat and. It's, I think the sooner you get into it, the sooner you're gonna love into doing it. Like, yeah. like how how many pins collected over the this entire course of being with the community? Like, I only can imagine. Like, yeah, like like me, I'm not really like a a big pin guy. Like, so some of them are nice, you know what I'm saying? I I got a couple pins, but I don't. I've now. I guess I haven't got into that. Uh, part of like collecting pins, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, it's more just collecting the hats right now. Yeah, well, just hats. Like I see some of these guys with these pin boards. Oh yeah. I I got hat club pins. I was like, that's what I got right now. <laughs> I was like, I got. Yeah. That's like I'm trying to uh, to get with it and and uh, keep up, uh, but. I mean, I mean, but it's like it's kind of hard to keep up with people who've been uh, doing this for a while already. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, they're ahead of the game. It's like trying to keep up with somebody that's been collecting hats for twenty years. You're, you're never gonna catch up. Yeah, no, never. Like uh, I finally hit broke. hats, and it's like it's like I'm almost at my second duffel. But I think I'm gonna keep keep uh, these uh, painters because I know you were telling me the other day that uh, when you hang them on your wall. Uh, bend a little bit or kind of get crooked a little bit. Yeah, they'll crease like uh, they'll crease like right here beside the because uh, they get pushed up. I guess you know what I mean. Like I don't, I don't want to do it, but they'll get pushed up, so you'll have like a little crease right there. Yeah, uh, I'm not trying to have that happen. Like I actually before right when I started collecting, bro, I thought to myself, I was like, oh, this would look nice, like to uh, pierce the the um, pin on the hat and then we were talking the other day I'm like but I, I already had stopped when we were talking the other day um, I was like I'm damaging these hats 
I don't know what else to be damaging the hats. Like, like I have like two of these uh, with no hats curved and no hats um, uh, pierced. So I'm like, and thankfully I kind of stopped because I was telling my girlfriend about it. Yeah. You didn't think that you're damaging that. I was like, no, I never thought. Of it. I was like, man. I was like, it's a good thing I stopped. Yeah, I could have poke a hole in my. I see people with that shit like here and here. And I, I can't. I can't do that. Love the hat. Love the hat too much. Yeah, the craziest thing I saw was somebody pierced it right here. It was Crazy. right on the on the thing. I was like, that looks dope, but I don't think I can do that. Um, did you happen to see those um, prototype um, pins, the clamps? Oh yeah, the Manolos. Oh, is that what? Is that who dropped it? Yeah. That's his. Co that's his company. That prototype there. Oh wow! I I didn't know that. I uh, I was like, I, I need to give me some of those. I was like, man, there's so many people I need to buy uh, from, and it's just like every time I want to do it, I I start doing something, or I just I just forget. It. Like like there's a bunch of guys who who drop stuff, and like I've missed already a lot of uh, a lot of pins that dropped, and I'm just like, yeah. I, I I was uh, telling you the other day, Ski, Skeeter, his hat pin game is stronger than mine. <laughs> yeah, he likes pins, man. I I, I get him pins. Oh. Yeah, he likes them. That's right. And that's, that's that. Uh, what up, Brim's Bakery? And that's dope, dog. That um, a lot of people send him stuff, and you know, um, that's that's real dope. That uh, like everyone says, this is more than hats, and oh, yeah. and. Uh, it's like that's why I want to do these uh, these interviews because there's a lot of people unaware of people in the hat community that are doing big and that just have been collect collecting for a long time and have knowledge on the hats. Yeah, uh, I had people hitting me telling me like, "Oh man, the interview was good. I learned a lot. Hat Junkie's a dope guy. Like a lot of these guys, um, these newcomers, scared to talk to. Like they're not scared, but they're just timid." Um, yeah. Talk to someone. Oh, he has a thousand followers. Oh, he has two thousand, three thousand, twenty. Like, yeah, it gets intimidating when um when uh oh he's on this guy's live or he's he he's with this group and it's the, they do this. And it's like uh like it gets real um it just gets real intimidating for some people. Like for me. For me to ask a lot of you guys to uh, kind of hop on, it was good for me to be able to talk to you guys a little bit first and kind of warm up. Like, uh, like you, I, I, I was like, man, I don't want to. Like, my biggest thing is like, no one tell me no. <laughs> I was no, like, no. I don't want to get rejected. I was like, no, nah, that's all good. I, I'm cool, man. I'm cool with everybody, man. That's Try it. to chop it up with as many people as I can. Oscar said, "I miss love." You from love, with Oscar? Yeah, the tech campus is nice. Yeah. I've only seen it. Got a lot of money. A lot of money at tech. A lot of money. I, I've only seen it during, um, like, the college games. Because uh, I used to watch college football. Uh, uh, I, I like the Oregon Duck. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I, it was more I love for the jerseys. Um, but uh, I remember they would show the school. I'd be like, man, dude, that's... It was just just crazy dope, and um, got some yelling in the sorry. Are y'all good? Um, it's just crazy how like well, I mean, it's a lot of kids that go to school and it's like all the money they're paying. It's good for them to have a good campus. Yeah, uh, yeah take got take us a lot of money. Yeah, I believe it. Patrick so, Jones, yes sir. I got one more question for you, Big Dog, because we're already hitting an hour, and this thing lets me be on here for about an hour. Uh, the other day, it kicked me off. Well, not kicked me off. I saw like a little timer. Oh yeah. Oh man. I so think you have to have a thousand or more followers, and it lets you. Bro. Yeah. Well, hopefully one day. Yeah, you get there, bro. Uh, I told my girlfriend, I was like, I was like, um, like she tells me, she goes, "You're getting more followers." I go, "That's cool." I was like, I I just want uh, people like to talk to you about hats, like. Cause I've been collecting hats since I was like fifteen, sixteen. Like, I, like I, I, we didn't either. Um, yeah. Would buy me hats, and I would like, 
I would sh like literally uh, cherish my hats. Like, oh yeah, I, I wouldn't try to get them dirty at all. You know, and it's like now that I'm a little older, I'm able to buy myself stuff. It's like, like I I'll, I'll wear a hat for a little bit. I'll put it away, and then later on I put on put it away. I try not to sweat in them because it's like I'm not trying to. to yeah, get I um, but do you have any do you have advice for newcomers joining the hat game? When it comes down to buying hats, or man, I would just, I would just say buy what you like, man. Don't don't follow the hype. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, man, that that hype's gonna die down, and everybody's gonna start buying from everywhere. You're gonna be like, damn, I wish I would have bought that hat. You know what I mean? I wish I would have listened to so and so or or these guys. Or man, buy what you like, man. If you like lids hats, buy them. Shit, I got lids hats, some fire ass lids hats. I know I got a whole box of lids hats, but I mean, I I started giving away hats because I'm just like at a point where like I like I don't want to keep junk every not everywhere. I don't want to put stuff throughout the house. We got an extra uh, in the living room, but it's like I don't I don't want to start throwing stuff out there, stuff out. It's like uh, my girlfriend tells me if someone ever were to break in the house, they're gonna try. Walk out with one of these <laughs> containers. Oh, of yeah. I'm like, let them try to take my hats, man. <laughs> I was like, but like, yeah. It's just, it's just dope to have, uh, to have like, I almost got, do you have all the baseball teams in your collection? Mm, I got all of them except the Yankees. <laughs> Oh, that's good, man. I'm trying. I'm still trying to collect all these hats. There's there's one Yankees hat that I would buy. There's one I'd never wear it, but I would buy it just because it's a badass hat. It's probably the best one. Uh, you know who Spike Lee is? The guy that makes movies. Yeah. He did a collab. He did a bunch of Yankees hats, but there's this one hat in particular where it has on on the bill all the way across. Uh huh. It has uh, embroidered, like it's it's actually stitched into the bill. They're baseball bats all the way across from top to bottom, all the way across with every single year they won the World Series. And on the on the baseball bat, it says the year. That one I would buy. I would never wear it, but have you seen it available at all? No, nah, you can't. You ain't you ain't getting that hat, bro. If you do, you're paying five six hundred bucks probably. The the so hats are there, like yeah that 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 one's a that one's a that's a nice hat man, very yeah. nice. That sounds crazy. That's probably the dopest one. I think he put one out too that all around like the top here and had the pennants all the way across the whole hat with the years they won the World Series. That one that one's all right, but the one with the bats all right here, that one's that's a fire hat, bro. Yeah, well, hopefully you find that. Because uh, I know there's a lot of people that are looking for hats right now, and it's like, it's literally find some of these hats. Like, I I hope hopefully they drop some uh, restock of hats. Like, I can't believe they're doing a the sandstorms. Like, they're doing a pre order again. I'm sure they're going to start pre ordering all the same hats that dropped. Oh, yeah. going. That's why I don't trip, man. Like people, they talk about they're panicking, they're panicking. Man, all their hats, they're gonna come back. I mean, there, there's, there's a couple that probably won't because of licensing issues. You know, they, they put some out. I think like, uh, was it those NBA crossovers or? Oh yeah. Some, you know, they, they won't be able to do them again because they found out what they were doing. Because I don't think you're supposed to do the same team from the same city like basketball, NBA. If I'm not mistaken, uh, in a same colorway, but. There's, I mean, a lot of stuff's going to come back, come back around. Like, yeah. so I just, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I guess I've been doing it so long, I don't worry about if the hat's going to come out because eventually it will. You know, somebody else will put it out or the same company will put it back out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you miss out and another company gets it, puts it out, take advantage because you might not see it again. Yeah, definitely. Um. Well, hi, Junkie. Um, I, that's all the questions I have for you, and uh, uh, we're kind of running out. I'm, I'm not trying to keep you here a long time. I already had you for a whole hour. Oh, you're good, bro. Shit, it feels like five minutes. 
your your wife's probably like, hey man, that, that big man had you for a minute. What are you talking about? Yeah, she's good, man. She's in there. I don't know what she's doing. That's right. That's right. Hey, well, thank you for joining me on uh Fit Talk. Ready, bro. I'll I'll talk to you pretty soon, boss. And um uh, thanks for letting me interview you. Already, bro. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of these guys to oh hat ju hat junkie was a uh, dope. You know, so I'll I'll send you some of those screenshots. Um, because it's like I don't know, it's dope to me to be able to talk to you guys. Like, like you know, it's just every, everyone I've talked to so far is real good people. Yeah, and, yeah, there's a lot of cool people, man. Yeah, and, I like this community, man. Yeah, same. Like they say, it, it's more than just hats. Yeah, and that's the good part. Yeah, you but, meet some cool people, make some friends and shit. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, uh, uh like um the uh total package was telling me the other day he goes how 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 much have you talked to family members in the past week but how how long how much did you talk to to me or uh fitted flannels or like you i talked to you like almost almost every day all last all this week yeah almost every day and i talked to you more than my family yeah that's like that's dope it's like it's just dope to uh, be able to have people on here become friends, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah know? there's some good people, man. Halo Fitter is one of them, man. He's yeah. doing some good shit, man. He's like, kids. Yeah, he's one of the guys uh, who, I, uh, who I'm who i always on his live. I'm always supporting him because uh, he's he's down to earth cat, you know? Yeah, the fools make me laugh, too. So I, yeah. I, watch, him. I watch him every chance I get, bro. Definitely. Funny-ass dudes. It's, it's always a uh, show to be on there with him and, uh, or just to be watching yeah. Um, it's just dope. Um, but all right, Hat Junkie, I'll let you go, boss. All right, bro. Talk to you today or tomorrow. Yeah, hit but, me up, bro. Anytime. Yeah. Thank you, boss. I'll Already. talk. All right, bro. Peace. Peace. See everybody later. Y'all be good.